general training reading test tips, and strategies. Cambridge IELTS 16 Reading Test 3 Section 2 Question type complete the summary with one word only. Today in this video, we are going to perform Section 2 of reading. We'll have a look at the question types and we'll also find out new ways how we can solve it quickly without reading the text deeply. The candidates would read the questions and also read the paragraphs to find the answers. Let's get started. Section 2. Nareen, please read the title and the subtitle. What it is that makes us get uh, very stuck. Yep. Very how, to become, mm -hmm. how to become a great maker and server of Espresso uh, based coffee drinks. So, uh, barista seems to be a food, right? So, this is what it is all about. We found out something, although you did not know what is barista, but now you know a little bit about it. We'll have a look at the question type now. Let's have a look. Question number section three. Okay, here we have it. This question type is called complete the summary. And when it is written that write no more than one word, then do not try to write more than one word. What is the requirement of this task? Marie, can you read the question, please? Choose one word only from the text of page 54 for each answer. Write the answer is boxes. 52 on your answer sheet. Yeah. Okay, for uh, usually for the computer based test, you have blanks here, you have uh, a digital system where you can type in the blanks, you get, uh, you don't really have to transfer your answers on any answer sheet, you choose your answers and you write your answers simultaneously. Uh, let's understand one thing that is this task in a sequence, Mary, what do you think? Is there is a, is there a sequence with this task? I think so, no. That is incorrect. There is a sequence when it comes to complete the summary questions. This is what we'll find out today. Usually this paragraph, the summary comes from the same paragraph or maybe two paragraphs, right? Okay. Let's have a look. First of all, we'll go through this title here and we will read question 15 and 16. Read, Mary. Be sure you make drinks that at that are dash for the customer. Yeah. Notes on being a great barista. Serving the customer. Maybe this can help us to find the information in the passage. Be sure you may make drinks that are blank for the customer. Now, blank for the customer. You need to find a suitable word to put in here that are blank for the customer, maybe suitable for the cust customer, maybe according to the taste of the customer, something like it. Ignore any what around you. Ignore what, right? Bilal, could you read passage number one? Yes, Serving okay. the customer. Okay, ma'am. Truly great barista takes the time to develop the key skills that we will them to deliver uh, highest possible quality to coffee-based beverages and services. As a barista, you you must make a concerted effort to listen to your client, clientele and make sure that drinks you produce are correct in all respect. This is particularly important when you consider the sheer range and complexity of modern coffee drink, which may start from a single, which may start from a single or double shot of espresso, but can include many additional elements. If you become distracted by the conversion that is going on nearby you may ultimately miss the mark from, from a service perspective okay so we have something related to service serving the customer and where did we read it we read it almost uh, we, we we read it almost in the top lines isn't it be sure you make the drinks that are blank for the customer in third line now make sure the drink you produce are correct in all respects okay make sure that the drinks you produce are correct in all respects so be sure you're be sure you make drinks that are blank for the customer what one word can you put in here 
Yes, ma'am. Correct, ma'am. Correct is the answer. Yes, yeah, so. that is right. That is right. Let's put the word correct in here. Yes. Correct. Okay, so now we found answer number one in here. Uh, sorry, answer number 15 in here. Now, answer number 16 could be down there somewhere close to it. Marine, read it and also find where's the answer. This is particularly important when uh, you consider the sheer, uh, sheer range of uh, complexity of modern coffee drinks, which may start from the single or double shoot of espresso, but can include many additional elements. If you become distracted by the conversation that is going nearby, you may ultimately miss the mark from the service perspective. Uh, you have to focus on ignore any blank around you. What yeah. are you supposed to ignore? This is what you're, you you need to find out. As I told you, the answer could be in a sequence. So you may mm, read after it. Distracted. Ignore, any, ignore any blank around you. Hmm. Close enough. The word is right. But which form of word will you use in here? Uh, this is particularly important when you consider the sheer range and complexity of the modern coffee drinks, which may start from a single or double shot of espresso, but can include any uh, additional elements. If you become distracted by the conversation that is going on nearby, mm -hmm. yes. Ignore right. any yeah. conversation. Yes, 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 that's right. Thank you. Uh, let's type it in here. Conversation. Mm -hmm. So we have found answer number 16 here. Mm. Do we see a sequence in here? Yes, we do. Yes. 17. Now, using equipment, you might go to the next paragraph now that is related to the equipment. So let's give it a try. Marine, read the question, please. Clean the machine regularly. Yeah. Clean the machine, the machine bank regularly. regularly. This means any part of the machine or anything. Next one. Okay. One thing that separates a great form of good vista is that the former is constantly busy and the strong work ethics. You will often catch uh, Please read air... question number 18 also. Okay. Remember that air causes the smell to fade. This is always use ground coffee that is blank. Ground coffee, second form of grind is ground. ground. Coffee that is blank. Now, let's uh, quickly have a look. Where could be the answer? Ma'am, filter, ma'am. Clean the machine, filter regularly. In you second line. Uh, in, in second, second line. line. Okay, read it. You will often catch a great vista rising out the filter in their machines. Hmm. For example. Hmm. For example. As, uh, as the road, the build up of burnt coffee oil that can begin in, uh, to impact on the quality and taste of each espresso shot. Okay. This is this, this. What is this word? Bilal? Ma'am, filter. Filter. No, what is this Maybe. word before filter? What's this? Brista rinsing out. What is the meaning of rinsing out? Ma'am, uh, rinsing out means. When, when we're crushing something and the... They say clean the machine blank regularly. Clean. Mary, what is to rinse out? Uh, rinse out mean um, cleaning the machine? Yes, yes that's right. Put that's out the... right. How did you decide the answer when you don't know what is rinsing out? Bilal, please tell me. Not, not, uh, uh, pull out. Uh... Rinse out means like before, uh, I think... Uh, Mary knows in so many cooking videos, they say rinse your chicken nicely, rinse out the, uh, uh, rinse out your vegetables. Have you ever heard that? Right, Mary? Yes. 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 So the answer, Mary, tell me what's it's the filter. answer. Filter. 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 Okay, let's write it down in here. Filter. Bilal, how did you find the answer when you don't know what is rinsing out? Ma'am. <laughs> Uh, I just read the statement and, and that's why ma'am rinse out the filter in their machines, ma'am. Okay, all right. Uh, 
Okay. You found the word okay. machine and you just found the word filter with it, right? No, ma'am. Found... No, ma'am. No, no, ma no, ma I, I understand the statement. That's why, ma'am. It's easy okay, for Okay. So, uh, Mehreen will tell the next answer also. Always use ground coffee that is black. Mary. Uh, yes, uh, start from there. Uh, similarly, do not have surprise to hear sound of coffee grinder at work. The highlights the keen attention of detail, the dis uh, distinction is skilled barrister, as they have to desire at the awareness of every, make every drink with completely fresh ground coffee. Uh, Fresh ground coffee. Always use ground coffee that is fresh. Super cool. Bilal, is that right? Always use ground coffee that is as they will desire and awareness to make making drink with ground coffee. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we are going to write that the word. That is fresh. Fresh. Okay, after that, making the coffee. Mary, can we still see a sequence right now? Do we see yes. a sequence still? Yes, we do. Okay, moving further with making the coffee. Read the question. Okay. Remember that air causes the smell to fade. Hmm. Okay, smell to fade. Okay. This type of identity, uh, attend help register to get the most form of coffee that they use as many as delicate aromas found in sexual locations exposed to open air. Mm. So, uh, know when to stop making the Okay, the sorry, sorry. Stop, stop. Making the, okay. Uh, I said wrong question. Making now. Uh, now when to stop making the expect so mm -hmm. now when to stop making the expresso. no it's no expresso. means understand understand yes. when to stop making the expresso when is the time to stop making it hmm. bilal help us find the information timing is uh, everything timing is everything when it comes to producing okay the start from there timing is everything when it comes to pro, uh, proceeding uh, producing producing the Perfect cup of tea, a great blister now, pre uh, precisely when they to finish the extraction of spirit. So at the point when the balance of flavor has reached in operatium level, they also understand how important this is. Those who act too soon are left with a drink without flavor. Yes, this is those... where we are, we are, that's all. Hmm. Too early reduces the blank. Those who are hmm. act too early. Without, yeah. Without. Without what? Flavor. So what's flavor. the answer? What, what word would you write in here? Flavor. Flavor. Right? Too early yeah. reduces the flavor. Bilal, is that yeah. right? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next one Bilal will tell. Okay. Too late makes the coffee bitter. Mm. So? Bitter, ma'am. Bitter. Marine, is that right? Uh, I just... I just searching too the late to makes the coffee blank too early without flavor while those who delay the finish risk burning mm. the beverage and tainting it with a bitter aftertaste if you leave it for too late it makes the coffee mm. too so sooner too late means sooner too late means late too early means soon mm. Too early, we already found the answer flavor here for 19. Hmm. Now you have to find the answer for 20th. Too late. Sooner. Too late makes the coffee what? Too late makes the coffee. Delay. Delay. Those who delay to finish the risk burning the beverage and changing it with a bitter aftertaste. Uh, those who try to uh, those who try to finish their espresso too quickly, it has lack of flavor, right? Those who delay, those who just keep it keep, let, let it keep cooking, let it keep making, their coffee is bitter. You don't understand? 
Okay. Read the last Peter line. Means, uh, uh, no, but bitter means uh, in my mind and another. Bitter is the opposite of sweet. Yes. Yes. Opposite of sweet. Too late makes the coffee bitter. Okay. Opposite of sweet, it means. And beverage is also a synonym of drink. Beverage means drink. All drinks, alcoholic or non alcoholic, they are called beverages. Right? So, uh, who delay to finish? Who delay to finish their espresso? This means that they keep on making it too late. I mean, uh, they just like tea, you know, if you. If you're making chai, that's called like the mixed tea that we make, right? Like, right. So if you remove it too quickly, uh, it doesn't have that strong flavor, right? If you let it cook for let it cook, let it brew for longer time, uh, it gets too strong and sometimes bitter too. You get that? Delay, and if you remove it too early, Mary, do you understand it? Yes. Are you certain? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And the answer was probably in the same line. So we are going to write here bitter. Bitter is a synonym of something that is not sweet, unpleasant taste also, bitter. Like almonds, some almonds are sweet, some almonds are bitter. Okay, next, Mehri. Giving good uh, customer service. Talk to your customer, ask about the customer. Ask about the customer. Talk to uh, your second. customer. Talk to your customer, and it's so important to read a uh, read around the blank. Ask about the customers. Can you see that little apostrophe in here? Customers' yes. opinion, customers' decision, customers' what? Ask about the 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 choice of the customer. Anything like it? What? And know something about the important blank in the area. Important blank in the area. Nobody will help. Charmaine, no, you're not Charmaine, you're Mary. So Mar nobody will help Mary, and Mary will find the answers by herself and also guide us where are the answers. Mm -hmm. Okay. When it comes to customer service, there is so much more to the coffee shop experience than taking uh, drinking perfectly roasted blend. The atmosphere of the amb ambient also play a central role, and the attraction that the customer interaction customer, that the customer yeah. has. With their blister set of the tone of the enjoyable experience. Ask about the customer. Ask about the interaction with, that the customer has with their blister set the tone for your enjoyable experience. Experience. Ask about the customer's experience. No, that's incorrect. Still consider the day again. Still consider Did it. Blister ask, okay, sorry. Did uh, Blister ask their customers how today is going? What day they are going? I think to you need it. to read carefully how their day is going. Yeah, so going. ask about the customers. How, how their day is going. What word is suitable? Going. Ask about day. customers going. Ask day, day, day. Bilal, is that right? Day. Yes, ma'am. Day. Okay, still, uh, there's a sequence going on, and 21 in here. 22, Mehreen, nobody will help her, okay. But now, now uh, something uh, about the importance. Okay. Uh, that, uh, okay. uh, they read local newspaper and keep up with issues. They are fairly mature, all of which with a real difference is competitive market based, competitive. Now something about the importance. Um, paragraph is uh, finished there yes it is answer is very close in the next line i can tell you where where the answer is local but local, uh, uh, local newspaper no this is but not newspapers no, no, something about the important important is matter yeah okay important I get that. Know no, something about them. Don't tell her the word yet. She has to choose herself. Okay, yes. Please. The real difference is computer market. Uh, they read mm. local newspaper and keep up with issues that really matter, all of which make a real difference in the competitive market. Now, something about the important computer. 
a market no, marketplace. No, hmm? something about the important marketplace. No. Bilal, I'll give it a try. Bilal. Yes, ma'am. Give, give, give the question a try. Twenty second. No marketplace in the area, ma'am. Know something about the the re they read local newspaper and keep up with. What do you mean by keeping up with something? Means that keeping no, uh, keeping no, 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 to know something to keep up with some keep up with what? Nature. About the important matter. Issues, guys. It's written in front of you. Keep up with the issues. Know something about the important issues in the area. They read local newspaper and keep up with issues that really matter. Come on. Uh, Bilal, do you get that? They they read local newspaper and keep up with issues that really matter. Really matter means important. Keep up means get to know or to study something. Study what? The issues. Issues where? In the area. Did you get that? Please reread it. If there's any confusion, please tell me. It's clear, ma'am. Uh, and what about you, Marine? Is it clear or yeah, are you yeah. still confused? Okay, all right. Thank you. This is the end of this task. What did you notice? Do we see a sequence here? Yes, ma'am. We do see a sequence, and is it a difficult task? Not at all. If you use your mind no, and yes. you get to read your uh, question carefully, you can even get full marks in this task. This is not hard yes, at all. Uh, I got two wrong, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, know something. See, uh, there was a synonym in here. Something that really matters. Keep up with. Um, real difference in. This is about the difference. If they would have given us about study the differences, then we would have written marketplace in here. But they are not asking us to talk about the differences. Do you get that? Anyways, let's move to the next task now.